week's recap of The Amazing Race. Wow, we're on episode three already. It's flying by. All right, well, Tanner. Oh, my hammy. They had to beat out that other team last week for second place. Oh, so dumb. So he's injured now. Yeah, that sucks. Well, they're staying in Argentina. Mm -hmm. They've got to take a cab to the bus station and get on a bus to San Antonio de Areco. Are Areco? <laughs> Not know. like Arceo. No speak in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, so there were three teams on the first bus. We've got the Texans. We've got the two reporters. But Justin and Diana, they must have gotten on at a different bus yeah, stop or I something. I guess so. Or they had some sort of weird connecting thing. Because they left first. They should have been, like, on the first bus, like, when it left with everybody else. It was I weird. I don't know. But they ended up being on the first bus. Yeah. Eventually. Mm -hmm. And on the second bus was Mother Son, Check Attack, the Peps. Yep. <laughs> I want to say the Peps Mears. No! The uh, cheerleaders and the track stars. Right. So five teams on that bus. And all alone on the third bus, the dancers. Oh, Freaking the love brothers, them. Ernest, Ernest and Jin. Jin. They're that sucks. so funny. Mm -hmm. So funny. I love their attitudes. Right. So Team Texas. You know they got that express pass that they're going to have to give to somebody eventually. So they're talking to the reporters and they're like, guess what? <laughs> Whoever you turns, Justin and Diana, we're going to give we, them Yeah, the after we pass. use our express pass, we have to give it to somebody else. We're going to give it to whoever does that. Oh, snap! Yeah. And so the, they're trying to get everybody the to gang up. Rolling. Yeah, they're trying to get everyone to gang up on Justin and yeah. Diana. Because they don't like them. At all. Mm -hmm. So it's roadblock time, and it's gaucho grill. It's all about the gauchos this week. You gotta rack up some meat, and I have to say, this made me want to throw up. Yeah, if you guys don't know, we're both vegetarians, so and she's a vegan. So watching this, we we're just like, even if I wasn't, cry. Though, just that meat, like on the ground, and then the dogs were like licking it and, and stuff, biting it, and like they were, the people were sweating on it. It was. Just, ugh. Was, and the, Are people really going to eat that? Yes, and that iron rod was all freaking rusty as hell. Yeah, so they had to make sure they had the meat, like, mounted correctly and placed around the fire correctly, and then they would move on. Justin was so annoying during this. I was totally... And stop being! On Team Texas. Yeah. Mi amigo! <laughs> I would have punched him right in his face. He had no attention to detail either because it took him about 12 tries. Yeah, he was the last of the three original teams to finish. Yeah. Um, but that being said, a lot of people were having issues with the details. All right. So once you finally figured out what they wanted exactly, you got a rack of lamb. Lamb. It was like a whole lamb. Well, you had to deliver it to the... Plaza Provencal. I think that's where it was. I don't know. I was trying to watch and write at the same time, so I'm not completely sure. Okay. But once you got done with that, you got the card for the detour. All right. Did you guys notice there were a ton of dogs running around in this episode? Like, it was awesome. And I was like, yeah, I love you doggies. But at the same time, I was like, no, because they're all strays. They're all strays. And that sucks. So, at the detour, it was either horse or carriage. Yeah, and for both of these, you had to travel on foot to the location. All right, and for both of them, you had to put on costumes. Yay, costumes! So, the horse one was all about polo, because apparently they really love polo down there. It's kind of a big deal there. And they're freaking good at it. All yeah. Right, they're great at it. So, you put on your... Oh, uh, wait. Before you go to your detour destination, you had to grab the appropriate... Item. You either had to grab a polo mallet or you had to grab a whip. Right. So, so for the horse one, you grab your polo mallet, you get there, you put on your polo outfit. You put on a tight polo outfit. Damn pants were tight. They were Jimmy Fallon Whoa. tight pants. You couldn't hide a stick of gum in those, no. For real. All right. <laughs> yeah, where are my tight pants? The tight pants. <laughs> so then once you were all dressed, you had to dress a fake horse. For I polo. thought I was watching, and I thought that horse was freaking real for she about was like, five minutes Wait, in. Wait, that's not a real horse. Wow, he's standing really still. <laughs> he's really cooperating. It would have been a little dangerous because yeah. they didn't know what they were doing. No. So they had an example horse walking around, and then you, you know, you put on your your saddle, your bridle. It was bridle. pretty tough. A lot of people were missing that the chain, that chain. goes under the chin. Mm -hmm. Well, the carriage was pretty freaking easy. 
it did seem really easy. I wonder if it was like farther away or what. For that one, you had to detail a carriage. It really just looked like they were dusting the crap out of it. Yeah, they did. And then you had a, a drag it over to somewhere where they hooked up the horses and they delivered you somewhere. Yeah, I think, too, like, this one was more physically demanding, having to drag that carriage yeah. around, so... Well, only three teams did that. Mm -hmm. Jack Attack, Krista and Tiffany, and Ernest and Jin. Right. So... They all had problems, except for Ernest and Jen. Yeah, Chack Attack, they did not grab their item before they left the plaza. And Krista and Tiffany, they grabbed the item before they left the plaza, but they didn't bring it to where they hooked up the horses, and you had to have it. Yeah, so they had to run all the way back. Thankfully, they didn't have to bring the carriage with them. Yeah, that would have been bad. Mm -hmm. All right, so the pit stop is the Museo Gauchesco. Oh. So, in first place, Tanner and Josh. It was close between them and Justin and Diana. Didn't they have a stray dog following them that had a hamstring pull as well? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it was a hamstring pull, but oh my god, he was like hopping around. It was so cute, all of the dogs. I wanted to scoop them all up and bring them home, whisk them away to my house. Yes, so Tanner and Josh, because they came in first place, they won a trip for two to Cambodia. Oh, <laughs> remember. Survivor. Sorry. Second chance. <laughs> Did you notice, too, the spa was an anchor? Angkor? Yeah. Yeah. One of the tribe names. Yeah. All right, so Justin and Diana came in second. Phil had a little warning for them. Yeah, because both of these teams were on the mat at the same time, and Phil knows. There's some tension here. You could cut it with a knife. With a Phil knife. Uh, he warned that the next leg is going to be a double U-turn. So Phil was like, so you guys going to use it on each other? And Tanner and Josh are like, yeah, we'd use it on them. Oh, and Justin's just like, I know too much about this show. Like, I wouldn't do that if you don't know the team's going to go home. Not going to go home. Uh, then he was like, I'm just going to do it back to them after, you know, I do it to somebody else. And the team after me, if you knew the rules... It's only one time per Yeah, because he said he was going to U-turn somebody you know, else, but then season. he was saying, like, oh, and then the next one, watch out. You can only do it once. Sorry. All right. <laughs> Team number three, Kelsey and Joey, moving up in the list. Yeah, Jasmine and Danielle in fourth. Mm -hmm. Now we had a little trouble with the next one. Denise and James Earl, they checked in at number five, but Phil well, could they not. Well, they would have. Yeah, Phil couldn't check them in because they incurred a penalty. Yes, during the roadblock, mm -hmm. Denise was trying to instruct James Earl, telling him what he did wrong. You can't do that. That's a no-no. You no. can't do that. Only one person can Shut work on it. Shut your mouth, Mom. <laughs> yeah, so... Leave me alone. I'm all grown up. 30-minute penalty. During and that time... Logan and Chris, the peps, snuck in there for mm -hmm. a smear. <laughs> so team number six, Denise and James Earl. Right. And then in seventh, Chack Attack, Cindy and Rick. And it looked like it was going to be pretty close between I have the cheerleaders a feeling it was and, not and the dancers. But as close as they made it look. Because yeah. I, the dancers just started so far behind. So Tiffany and Krista got in there in eighth place. And Ernest and Jen came in last. No! And were eliminated. I was so hoping that it was going to be an Me too. I did not want to see them go. But they got to dance with the uh, the mat dancers. That was fun with the locals. Yeah, they were doing the worm. And you know what? I I'm really, miss them. Really, yeah, I really like them. I was hoping <laughs> that we'd go far. during the roadblock when he was like, what are you carrying? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey? Turkeys or something. It was it great. Was, you, there were two of them. Love them. Hope they get, like, big things in life because they're really cool. Yeah, so next time, the teams are going to Africa. To get spit in the face. Ew. <laughs> and the double U-turn. Oh, boy. It's, it's going to be, be good. It's going to be a big show. Let us know what you thought in the comments. And until next time, much, much love. love. Edit. Edit.